doing another pod review today on this prepper right here, and this is called the Brazilian starfish, or Brazilian red starfish. There are two different varieties of this. There's an orange starfish, actually three, but there's an orange starfish, and there's the red starfish from Brazil. And they are bacadams, and they are quite delicious. Now, this is a little one. I didn't do that good this year, but next year we should be blowing out the Brazilian stars like unbelievable. So we will get a ton of these next year. But I did get enough to offer seed for this. So this is it. That is the Brazilian red starfish. And uh, what do I know about it? I just know it's from Brazil. I know it's a bicadam, and I don't know really that much more about it. Um, I, I know there's orange. I know there's red. I think there's... Yeah, there's orange, there's red, and I think there's actually a cream version of this, or a white, or a bone color. I think there is. I could be wrong about that. But anyway, that is it. And without any further ado, let's give it a go. Okay, so it's got a kind of a strange flavor to it. It could be because it's the end of the year, and I'm kind of picking them with a kind of orange going to red almost has like a nutty flavor to it if you ever tasted those pine nuts i think that's what they're called pine nuts they're those little white nuts you get they're really expensive almost tastes a little has a, a little bit of that kind of a flavor to it but it, it's not real tangy and it wasn't really strong in flavor it does have a pecanum type of fruitiness that pecanum type flavor it does have that to it but it's not very strong it was very light in flavor we're going to revisit this pepper next year because, like I say, I was really harvesting these really at the end of the year. I had to bring the plants in. The, the fruits weren't ripening. so. But we'll revisit it next year and we'll do a proper pod review. But just wanted to give you a quick idea on what it tastes like. And so the heat is generally pretty low. I wouldn't go much more than 2,000 on the heat. Typical bacadam warm type of glowing burn. Very light. It's just kind of on the tip of the tongue a little bit. Kind of got my lips a little, and that's really about it. Just a warm, glowing burn. And, again, that flavor, I don't know, it's kind of strange. Like I said, it almost had like a little bit of a nutty flavor. Had a slight tanginess. It was kind of sweet, so that was kind of balanced. The overall flavor of the pepper itself, that aftertaste part of it, was really light. There wasn't very strong uh, flavor in it. That, I, I just think it's the end of the year, and that flavor... Is just really not there at the end of the year. I, I think that the plant will produce much more flavorful peppers during the peak of the season where it's, you know, you're harvesting them in, in August and whatnot like that. But I, I don't think that this pepper uh, really developed its flavor fully. So we'll revisit that. But it had a nice flavor. It was really light. It was. It's a really nice uh, taste on it. Though I didn't get very many peppers off it, it produced quite a few of them. It's just they started producing really late in the year and I had to dig the plant up and bring it in. And once you pretty much do that, whatever fruits are on that plant, that's it. That's where it stays. I had maybe probably about 10 peppers off of that plant that ripened, you know, that came to ripeness. And the others were all not really big enough to, and they were still on the green side. And so they weren't going to ripen, so the seeds never developed. It's just, they're wasted, basically. Again, they're not going to ripen once you dig them up and you bring them in. That's it. Wherever, whatever stage they were at, they are done. So, but anyway, um, not sure what else to say about it. You know, the, the again, the, the heat intensity was mainly around the tip of the tongue. It was very light burn between 1,000 and 2,000. So not really strong. And... Pretty nice pepper, to be honest with you. That's it. That's your review for the Brazilian red starfish. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.